water, water everywhere, and not a drop to drink. This can also be applied to the property market: houses, houses everywhere, and not a house to live. Now, I haven't had much luck in buying a house recently. Good afternoon, folks. Who would like to kick off with today's first bid? Eight hundred. Eight hundred thousand from the young man in front. Uh, no, eight hundred dollars. And I don't know why. <laughs> so, to help me find the answers to these questions, I've managed to find an expert in this field. Hi. Who are you, and what are we doing in this field? My name is Jesse Rayburn. I'm a real estate agent for White Fox, and I've just sold this vacant block of land, which is about to be turned into an entire development. <laughs> well, I guess you could say you're outstanding in this field. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jesse, I've recently learned about something called the cost of living crisis, or COLC for short. How is the rising of COLC affecting the property market? Well, the scary thing about the COLC, as you called it. It hasn't affected the property market, and what I mean by that is, you would expect that with the rising cost of living, rents would come down and property prices would come down because people don't have enough money to spend. The reality is, though, that has not happened. Rents have increased, property prices have stayed relatively flat, so it sort of defies logic how you can have this cost of living crisis and yet prices can still be going up. And how do we get out of this mess? Well, the simple solution is just build more houses. It's a supply and demand issue. More people want a home than are being built, so I think we can just cut red tape and let the builders do what they want to do, which is build. For some reason, in Australia, developers like a dirty word. You need developers, particularly in Australia, to build houses for people to live in. Just abolish stamp duty. I think it's a real barrier for people who want to buy a house. Create a land tax that goes for 10 years, so it's a smaller amount you have to pay each year. You don't notice it so much, and then it'd be so much easier for people to come into the property. Market, and then they'd be more inclined to sell and, and buy something else. Since you're the king of solutions, can 